mission is to enrich and enlighten at-risk children by providing opportunities to bring out their talents and establish self-confidence, all while enjoying the appreciation of the arts. And he's dedicated his collection of over 100... Hello, I'm Patrick Gaughan, and this is my home and art studio, and of course, it's an Irish home. Come on in. Well, I want to welcome you to Pat Gaughan's art studio. This is my indoor studio. I have one indoors, and I have one outdoors, and um, this is when the weather is uh, bad and rainy, or if it's cold, and I can be working in here. Uh, I, I work in different mediums, so I'm working in watercolors, I do sculpturing, uh, I do oils, and I do acrylics, and uh, outside I do my pourings, and so I want to show you this because the Florida Sheriff Youth Ranch uh, has sort of adopted this as uh, one of their uh, paintings that they like best, and uh, it, it has a saying here, and it, I think it's very important. It says, no matter how great our own achievements in life, there's no greater reward nor greater joy than to make a fundamental difference in a child's life. And I think that is very true. When I was 11 years old, I lost my dad. He was a police detective and was killed in line of duty. And what really helped me at that time, being a young man, was the boys clubs of America. And then that's all they had was boys clubs. So I was asked to help the kids here by the sheriff. And uh, I was reluctant at first, but then I went up and, and the, the Florida Sheriff Youth Ranch has been in business for over 50 years. And it's a wonderful organization. And so this is the way I can give back. And this is where I do my art. This collection of over 150 paintings done over his lifetime to the General Robert H. Gauguin Foundation. Artist Patrick Gauguin. So good to see you, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Now, I know you started this foundation in honor of your late uncle, um, or I'm sorry, That's in honor correct. of... Uh, explain how, how the whole thing came about. Well, he was, he was a mentor in my life. My father was a police detective, and he was uh, killed when I was 11 years old. My mom was a policewoman, but I didn't go into that arena. And my uncle sort of kept encouraging me, and, and also in the art. And that's when he left some money. He said, Patrick, take it from here. And what did you do with that money? Well, what we did, we set up a foundation. And then I teach the kids at the Florida Sheriff Youth Ranches all over the state and go in. And I guarantee them that uh, they'll be artists the day I leave. So, so the Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranch, it, it involves at-risk children from various walks of life. Right. And you go in and do something that probably no one has ever done with them before. You're one-on-one, -on -one, an artist with the kids. And... One method that Patrick uses to help the kids express themselves through art is a technique called pouring. The pourings are acrylic paint, and uh, I had some that was donated, and it's liquid. And I thought, I wonder what that looks like if I, if I just pour it on the canvas and then flush it a little bit with some water. And, and I started getting some very unusual compositions, and uh, then it would dry, and, uh, it, it, and they sold. And it's like one of a kind. I use Irish linen, and, uh, and then I have it where it creates a trough, so when I pour it down, uh, sometimes I'll get a mountain scene or what have you, and maybe I only use a portion of it. What's interesting is that if you use a, a yellow and uh, throw it down first, pour it, and then I, a lot of times I'll have a hair dryer which dries it, and then if I pour a uh, semi-dries, I don't want to completely dry. And then, uh, now I'll take a blue and pour it, and it'll create green. Yet I didn't paint green on it. It's just the primary colors creating it. And uh, so that always uh, is, to me, is interesting of 
Well, the painting so sometimes controls the artist. Not only has this method produced some unique and interesting pieces, but they've also sold and raised thousands of dollars for the Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranch, such as this pouring Patrick did after 9-11-2001. The kids are here, you know, I'm getting to be an old man, but the kids are here and they're young. And, and so that's what I like to, to help them. The paintings bring in good money, the pourings do. Because, uh, the people uh, a lot of times will see what they want to see, you know. If it's an abstract, I had one lady come up and say, I love the way you put the eagle in it. And uh, I thought it was kind of funny, my uh, secretary, Susan, who's been with me a long time, she said, what are you going to say now, big boy? And, uh, and, and I told the lady, I said, you know, Helen, a lot of people don't see that eagle because I didn't. This painting here is a pouring, and um, I just came back from uh, Niagara Falls, which is spectacular in itself, and um, I thought this looked like the water going over Niagara Falls. This colorful pouring on display in Patrick's gallery, titled Iris, won first prize at the Bay Pines Veterans Administration Art Show, held in March of 2004. As an artist, Patrick has received numerous awards and accolades, but none more rewarding than his experiences teaching the kids. I go up there and there's a hundred kids, and I, I teach 25 at a time, so I'm there about three days, and uh, I come in, you, you'd think I was Picasso or Salvador Dali because they, the kids just, they identify to it. One child hadn't talked, which I did not know, for several years. He had a very bad tragedy in his uh, life. And I don't know what's going on with these kids. I don't care about the past. I'm dealing with you right now, teaching you. and. Um, he said, Mr. Pat, can I make my sailboat? We were doing sailboat. And uh, make, make my boat blue and the sails red. I said, this is your creation, Tommy. So later on that night when we went to dinner, the executive director of this, of the boys' ranch said, boy, you really had him talk. And I said, well, he's just a normal kid to me. And he said, well, he hadn't spoken two years. So what, uh, maybe I was just a conduit. I, I'm, I'm not, that's all. Uh, maybe the art got him to open up. You see? So I stay in touch with him now since I know that story. But you actually had the kids do their own artwork. Yes. And that's right behind us with a manatee. Yeah, this is a manatee, and I found out it was endangered species. So I got the manatee, and then I bought mosaic tile, and I started it on the back. And the kids would say, um, they call you Mr. Pat. And they say, Mr. Pat, can we put on this and that? And I said, it's yours, and it'll be theirs. It'll be in there. And I know there's kind of stories throughout, right? Yeah, how the kids uh, adopted certain things. There's a big um, lighthouse on the back, and uh, basically I came about one of the children's uncle was a, uh, a mariner, and he said that one of the most important things to a person at sea is a lighthouse. And he said, Mr. Pat, can we do that? So I helped him with it, and then they finished it out. So. Isn't that neat? You can see, and then there's stories throughout. I know the girls like to put, wanted to put bracelets on the manatee's wrists. Right, yeah, <laughs> I, well, I think that's cool, see? That's a, Very cool.